to anyone else play it. I just know that's one of the top-rated one things on the Game Jolt site, but we'll see what we think. Hey everyone, this is Eskomaka as that gamer, and this is Leah. I guess I'm gonna click options before I really kick into the game. I just wanna see what's there, really, or nothing's there, because nothing happens when I click it. Well, I'm gonna click start, and let's see what we think of the game. Straight into the Leah. I assume it's starting, there we go. Sounds like we're entering somewhere. Oh, interesting, it's like a crown vision. What does this say? Leah, we had to go out and had to pick up a few last minute things. Feel free to head upstairs to your room. Mom, yeah, sorry for the television isn't working. Yeah, feel free to go upstairs to your room. You're grounded, honey. That's not outside, it's like a room entirely. Look around a little bit. Ooh, a key. Oh, well, that's a pain, though, but it's something. Potted plants and all the things a kid could want. I also can't run. That's notable. We have another... Why, why do we have windows looking to our house? Actually, what is that? Is that a teddy bear? I think it's supposed to be yeah, a teddy bear. What? There was a painting of a face here literally two seconds ago. It's gone now. Maybe I should look to the pain when I had a chance. Let's go inside. That's upstairs. Before I do that, hey, it's the same picture I saw a little bit ago. I'm on to your game, sir. Well, let's take a look about then. What time is it, Mr. Carr? Ah, that was the drawer I was trying to interact with. It's like it's trying to interact with something. The TV's not on. I'm gonna leave it on. I want a cursed TV to happen eventually. I like cursed TVs. The rain sold me on them years ago. Don't open, please. Okay. Mom. If that is your real name, instead I'm gonna let's get all these shelves here, see if there's anything else in any of these. Don't see anything. For a second I thought I could mess around with the toaster. I think I was just opening up these again though. Dear Mom and Dad, sorry I can't make it for Leah's birthday. I really would love to be there, but I just don't have the money to fly out for only a few days. I'll definitely be in for the holidays. By the way, Leah has been bringing up other Oliver a lot lately in our phone calls. Try to keep him out of the conversation. I really don't think it's healthy for her to keep holding on to old members like that or old memories like that. So I scribble up. She dis. Uh, she dis something. She dis something. Don't worry though. I'm sure you guys will have lots of fun. I can't wait to be over on winter break. Love, Katie. So I'm Leah, and there's a boy named Oliver. Oh, it's my birthday on November 2006, 9th. Either Oliver is like a dead sibling or a friend or imaginary friend, something like that. Anything? Ah, oh, there's a flower. What makes the flowers grow? I do. Sure is dark in here. Can I pick up the candle? No, I cannot. I thought I was like, oh, there's an interactive thing over the candle. Can I actually pick up the candle? No, that was not the actual answer. Teddy bear. You guys think this is, if a tree falls in a forest and no one's around to hear it, does it make a sound? Come on, it's like a classic question. Of course it makes a sound, just no one will hear it. Sound exists even if we cannot perceive it. That's why it's sound waves and other animals can hear it. That's why other things respond to sound. So, yeah, I Now then, going on up. Time to go. Actually, before I go upstairs to my room, can I open up this door? Nope. All right. Whole new world up here. I'm ready. Rearing to go to my bedroom. Because that's when things will probably go wrong. Ooh. Hear that? It's locked. Well, we're now aware that we're locked out of our room, which seems a bit of an oversight. But still, there has to be a key somewhere. I'll keep the radio running. I want to see if anything spooky eventually happens from that. So if I had a key, I mean, it would probably be over here, actually. Ooh, music! Even classical style music. Let's explore. Is 
there a key in here? I'm checking. No key. I wonder if the sound thing is a common about something which I need to do like a clue. Let's go on out. Hey. Hmm. Key. Unfortunately, I've not seen anything that looks key-like at all. I mean, I don't think it'd be in the fridge. I don't even think I can open the fridge. I'm respectful to my parents, apparently. It's not there. It's not here. Is it behind your picture, Oliver? Uh, excuse me. Let's see if I can see anything in here. Nothing I can see. There's a painting here, but it disappeared of the guy's face. I feel like it has to be inside the room with the teddy bear, because it's dark in there and I can't fully see there well, so... It's not on the clock. Yeah, I'm gonna check the other room more fully. Maybe it's under the pod plan or something. Sounds possible. It's on the flower, at the very least. Can I crouch? Oh, I can crouch. That is notable. Can I push this out of the way? No. I don't have a flashlight, so... Oh, I picked up the candle, actually. I was trying to do that earlier, though. Well, this one made my life easier. There's blood in there. Like, there's blood in all of these. Well, candle obtained a bit late, unfortunately, after the sons already disappeared. Key. Ooh. Ain't in there, is told the cat. Probably one of the most popular cats in existence. There's a door in here, two doors, I didn't see them. Do you see them, Mr. Teddy's? Because I didn't see them. Okay. Let's open one of these doors. Oh, that one's locked. How about you? It's the bathroom. Anything in the bathroom? No. No. There's a picture. Can't read what the text says. Remember this? And I can see it more clearly. Remember this? Quite an interesting tree shape. Hmm. Well, intriguing. I'm gonna go back on out. One must go places. Ooh, this room's been opened. Time to get locked inside. Teen dies after jump from the 190 bridge. From Chamberlain. Well, time for me to go back out. Hello? Got some of my favorite show tunes again? Let's see. Just creepy little things that we have about. Did I see that correctly? No, I didn't see that correctly. I thought there was something growing behind the pod plant. Hmm. I don't think anything's been added to any place I've previously been in. Maybe my room is open. Nothing on the telly, so... Clock. 
Bach claims it is 9.35. I can roll with that. Let's go on out. I just want to see if there's like anything through the reflection here now. If this door isn't open, I'll check the bathroom again. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I got confused. I was like, oh, time to go upstairs. And I'm like, wait, where's the stair? Oh, they're not leaning downstairs. Well, sure. Let's go. Seems we're loading up the next area. Our lovely basement. What's in this neck of the woods? Sure, it's a bit dark here. There's whispering coming from the corner. Oh. Someone made a mess of the table. Wasn't me, neither. Let's take a look around. Anything here? Teddy bear, you're glowing. Like a ghost teddy bear. Death of a Salesman from Arthur Miller. Some have the courage to live. Others have the courage to die. Well, let's investigate. I'll inside these pieces and bits. Just investigating the wall while I can. See if there's anything that sticks out. door is locked. There were whispers earlier coming from this corner. There's nothing in there, so I'll investigate this corner now. So they got a lot louder over here. Never mind. It's like a generator. Of some kind. Probably don't need to mess with it. I'll follow this wall. Oh, there's a door here. Before I take the door, Bed frames. Doing what bed frames do best. Oh, oh. Hi. The bridge builder. The builder lifted his old gray head. Good friends in the path I have come, he said. There followed after me today a youth whose feet must pass this way. This chasm that has been as naught to me, to that fair-haired youth may a pitfall be. He too must cross in the twilight dim. Good friend, I am the building this bridge for him. I'm building this. Cool. Lowered its hand a bit. Let's door open now. He's leading even deeper. Let's descend. The walls are getting redder. This is straight out of Silent Hill. I can roll with it. Let's go. This is bright. It be the dark rooms that line it. Let's explore, I guess. It's this kid again. He looks a little bit less happy, a little bit more forced than he did in the last picture. Let's take a look. Birdcage. Nothing inside the birdcage shelf, though, but birds over here and origami birds. Interesting. Ages, which I, for some reason, phase right on through. That's a little glitch. The Bird Boy. Late one autumn night. With that, I might have some summoned weeds the child destroyed. I just read the yellow highlight things. Let's read. Ha well, late one autumn night, a young queen stood by her window, gazing upon the silent and the deserted meadows gleaming in the moonlight. Suddenly, far, far up in the sky, she heard the weird cry of birds flying southward, and lifting her eyes, the queen beheld the bird after bird fly across the golden shield of the moon. Oh, lovely, happy birds, she said. Would that I might have a son with wings. Now it came to pass that before the harvest moon rose again, 
Over the land, the queen became the mother of a little boy who was born with wings on his shoulders. But instead of being pleased with so strange and wonderful little son, the king, who was very superstitious and under the domination of a wicked or chambermaid, chamberlain named Mal uh, Maleficio, took it into his head that his wife was a sorceress and gave orders that she should be imprisoned in a lonely tower and the child destroyed. So the queen and her baby were taken to an old and gloomy tower on a great rock overlooking the northern sea. And after that had been a day or two, the chief jailer came to the queen's room to take the child and kill him. The queen, when she begged the terrible order, uttered a gasping scream, and seizing her little son from out of his cradle, pressed him close to her breast. But although she fought for her baby with all her might, the rude strength of the jailers prevailed, and the child was torn from his mother's arms. Then, before one could prevent her, the poor queen beat open the rotted fastening of an old cast harassment window, sprang upon the ledge, and giving one last look of love and tenderness to her unhappy child, leaped down into the sea, surging and pounding over the rocks hundreds of feet below. She certainly could have been crushed or dashed to pieces had her not had not a good spirit of the ocean taken pity on her, and changed her into a great grey bird. Crying mournfully, the bird circled the Old Tower three times, or the Tower thrice, and disappeared over the white capped waters. In spite of its roughness, however, the jailer was neither brutal nor a wicked man, and he. How many, okay, this is never mind, this is way too long for me to spend the time reading there. So basically, late one on night, would that I might have a son with wings, the child destroyed, take the child and kill him, leap down to the sea, chains her into a gray bird. A great gray bird. Curving claws, he will now be a playmate for Rosabelle. The bird waved goodbye to his two little ragged foster brothers. So the bird boy became the best beloved playmate, fallen over a cliff at the edge of the sea. Great gray bird. The bird boy begged and pleaded to be taken. There was a little cheer. All night long, the bird boy thought he could hear the wings of great bird being fiercely against the window panes. The wonderful child was dead. Greet it in my name. I shall never see the gray bird again. The clock stood at five minutes to twelve. The shadow of the birds. Far ahead of the vast swarm flew one lonely bird. And a ripped out page. There's also a drawer here. Which has, for my daddy on Father's Day. Daddy, I love you the most because you're the best, Katie. Happy Father's Day. Uh, okay. You, okay, there's... All kinds of daddies, but if you ask me, you're the best daddy there ever could be. I love all. I love. What? Let me read the top one first. You so much, I can't express the amount of love that I have for you. Love, Allie. I love Olive's dad. I love Oliver, dad, and that's Leah. Yeah, it's me saying I love Oliver, or I love Oliver, dad, or I love dad, Oliver. That's from me, Leah. At least I assume I'm Leah. Could be someone of the other girls, but you know, I think I'm Leah. Let's roll on out. I hate to the bright white hallway. And that's where the radio is coming from. Oh, those creepy pictures of him, who I assume is Oliver, but I don't really know yet, though. Let's open a few of these up. Well, nothing in those. Hello, radio. I'll keep your buzzing. Add some ambience. But nothing. Well, that's that. If I can get myself unstuck there, there we go. More pictures and anything on these shelves. It's December 3rd. December 3rd. It's been about a month since Oliver passed, and I still can't help but feel like it was my fault. I had been so immersed in my studies that I neglected to attend any of my son's performances, or even spend any time with him at all. I let my work become my life, and some part of me feels like this is sort of a catalyst for my son's suicide. My wife has certainly been under a lot of stress lately as well. 
and it feels like she was the only one who understood all of her. I know that Katie's taking this all quite well, and I just hope that Leah's too young to understand what's happened. Leah being too young to understand. Hmm. Moving on from there, different areas to go through. And a single book. Oliver went with me to the park today. I wish he would play with me more, but he only read. read. Oliver never talks to me, and he only plays with his friends from the other theater. I can't wait until I am older and I can't show him how many friends I have. Mom said that Oliver won't come home anymore. Mom is crying and I don't know why. I hope I see him soon. Mom said that Oliver is in a new home in the sky. Maybe he is flying with the birds. Oliver visits me all the time now, and he always plays with me. Oliver is the best brother ever. Yep. <clears> hmm. <throat> Going on from that one. Is that pterodactyl? Huh. Leah. Teddy bear, paint. Hmm. Have a nice little tea party, I see. Well, this is the thing. Let's go on back outside, of course. Okay, next door up. There's something there, okay. Leah has been calling more of, uh, more often than, I can't read that, would just to talk about random things. It was enjoyable at first, but now I can clearly tell that she is upset about something. She has been talking about family a lot. She has been talking about family a lot, saying how important they are. She rejected, she repeated several times that Oliver did not want to be fear, what? I, I can hardly read this handwriting. Furgeton. That really struck with me. Foreign? Oh, no, no way we did not want to be foreign? Oh, did not want to be a foreigner. That's what I'm supposed to say, foreigner. During our conversation today, Leah brought up Oliver multiple times, asking me what he was like, and then asking about his death. It was all quite strange, because I don't see how she could still hold memories of him when I hardly remember him. This is the third day in a row that Leah has called. Today, Leah told me that she can still see Oliver. She called and said that Oliver was with her right then, and he wanted to talk to me. I hung up because, to be honest, she was freaking me out. Later today, though, she calls back and fitted it and liked it so no no of that had her had acted like none of that ever happened i think spending a few days with mom and dad will help her and if it makes her stop calling me uh, let's see about our dead brother i'm all for it leah the door obviously is shut on me leah has been missing for more than a week now and all of us, all of the newest, all of the, what? All the interest she had in Oliver and his suicide has me worried. I just don't want to lose my sister. Obviously the door closed behind us right then. Well, nothing else really of interest, so let's go on out. Next door. Which leads into a dark, dark place. I love mazes. Oh, 
quick. <laughs> Sorry, that scared me because I wasn't expecting it. We'll follow her around though. I think that was the pterodactyl thing we saw earlier. <clears throat> that time I didn't see whatever it was that was supposed to jump me. That's a dead end. Let's go. Well, I mean, the monster looked like a pterodactyl, and he, apparently he's supposed to live in the sky, so I guess I see him like a bird that looked more like a pterodactyl to me, but had a beak. Let's go this way. Hey. Banging's going on. That's a long way down. Let's go. <clears> hmm. <throat> Does look like a long way down. We can turn. I think my brother's gonna start flying. <laughs> I hope so. I, I need to remember I can run. It seems like running for spurts is better than just holding the run button. See, like this, I'm moving faster than I would otherwise. Move through. Almost to the bottom. <laughs> Faster than alternatives. Oh, okay, I shouldn't have looked behind me. I was like, huh, I don't even know why I looked behind me. I just did, because I was curious. Still, though. I think the thing, somebody is saying that, of course, my screams scare them more than the thing, but I think the reason why is because there's a difference between playing and watching something. If you're the one in controls, because you're the one that has to respond to something that happens, I think that there's a little bit more panic on you, and thus the person screaming might scare you more than what actually happens inside the game. But of course, to me, I'm more scared by the thing happening in the game, because it's my responsibility to respond to whatever scenario happens. And of course, everything that's happening, I'm in control of it at the moment, so yeah, yeah. But the scream would be more startling, because you might not expect the scream, which then would be a visionary response. Because fear and startling and other things can come in different forms and all that, so yeah, yeah. Let's just look at this though. Let's open this. Let's open the door. Close the door behind me. Everyone's favorite stock photo guy all about here. I think there's gonna be like an edit of one of them pretty soon, because we're in the gallery of his face right now, apparently. Yeah. I... Well, he got smaller. I guess this gotta count for something. Now in a place that looks like a church. Well, oh, it's supposed to be the casket of our brother. Brother! Oh no, never mind, it's just a note. Leah and Oliver. Wow, he's a lot taller than me. See, I mean, he's probably the pterodactyl, I keep on saying. There's something in the mirror. Now, obviously, they want me to turn around, so get ready. Well, the return happens. I closed the door with the idea that would change. Oh, okay, hi. I'm gonna look around here first. I want you on the radio first. Now we can play together forever. Is that the end? Did I die somewhere along the way? Interesting though, I actually liked it even though I didn't, that ending, if that was actually the ending there, was a little disappointing. A little obtuse there, but I like the ride to the point. It feels like they just stopped in the middle of the game happening though, which is unfortunate, but still though. Interesting though, interesting. Regardless, that was Leah. 
Until next time, adieu to all of you.